Okay, so I realized that I never really made a proper introduction for this video, so I thought that I would just tell you what's going on here in the voiceover. So a few months ago, quite a few months ago, I sewed this tote bag that you see here on the table. And it was a super fun project, I filmed it all, I will put the video up in the cards and in the description box, so if you missed it, you can watch it. It was lots of fun, and in that video, I was like, hmm, what if I paint this too? Because <laughs> that sounded like a fun thing to do. And so, that's what this video is, is I'm going to paint my tote bag, I came up with a little design, and yeah, I went about painting it. Now, if you have been following my channel for a while you'll see you might be able to tell that where i'm filming was like two houses ago <laughs> and that's because i moved twice before i finished this project um this was back when we still lived in idaho and we ended up moving to oregon and then we moved to a different house in oregon so that's why it kind of took me forever is because i started painting this bag and i painted some of it and then we moved <laughs> so i am just mixing up some paint here i wanted to use like a light green i used regular acrylic paint and then used um like a i don't really know what the word is for it and i don't have it with me so i can't tell you but basically it's like a kind of like a bonder agent type of thing that you mix in with paint and then it makes it fabric safe like it makes it washable and so that's what i decided to do because i didn't have any fabric paint specifically and i didn't want to buy fabric paint when i had other paint and so i just mixed in that um stuff to make it so that it would be fabric paint and the design i decided to go for is just kind of these like little leafy floweries and then you will see soon that i also wrote more books please on one side of it so yeah that's what this video is it's me painting um i did not talk for any of it pretty much until the very end when i filmed an outro and so most of this is just footage of me painting the bag i had a lot of fun doing this i really enjoy creating my own things and then being able to especially if it's if it's functional and i can go and i can use my bag and then someone's like oh my gosh, your bag is so cute, where did you get your bag? And I'm like, I actually made it and painted it by hand all by myself. I sewed it from scratch without a pattern and then painted it. And then they're like, what? That's awesome. And I'm like, yeah, I know, it's really fun. I really like doing those types of crafts. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got in a crafty mood again and I really wanted to finish this bag. So I set out to do that. And I hope that you enjoy watching my process of doing it. I might check in here and there. Um, I don't really know, to be honest, how much I'm going to tell you as you watch this, but yeah, enjoy watching me paint and hopefully I'm inspiring you to do your own type of project like this.
Okay, so now we've jumped ahead a few months, and I'm now in my current home. Uh, here, I did have some fabric paint, but it's neon, and I am not about that neon life. And so I mixed in a little bit of brown to the neon pink, and also a little bit of white, because I didn't want it to be like super dark pink, um, but I also didn't want it to be super bright pink. So we mixed in a little bit of brown, a little bit of white, into that pink and it turned out to be a really nice color so that's how i did that the brown and the white weren't fabric fabric paint specifically but it was multi-purpose paint so it did say on the bottle that you can use it on fabric So once I finished the side that said more books please, I just flipped her over and did the other side and the other side. I just did leaves and flowers, I didn't write anything on it and I really like how it turned out. I like that you can kind of uh, use either side of the bag and both sides are cute and they still tie together. wanted to do another coat on the front but the back was drying and so I actually just kind of shoved it onto this easel so that it would be upright <laughs> and then I did another little coat on the front as well just to you know make it real nice.
Alright, well, the journey of creating this bag has been a long one. It has been a few months um, <laughs> since I even started painting the bag. Been a few months since I sewed the bag, but I'm glad that it's finally done. I really like how it turned out, and I'm excited to do more crafty things. Um, I honestly just have not been in the mood to read lately at all, which makes me really sad because I really love reading, and kind of like up until this point through the year, I have read a ton, and I've really been loving it, and I just don't want to <laughs> right now, um, which makes me sad, but I am in the mood to do a lot of crafty things, so I think you can expect some more crafty type videos from me coming up, and hopefully I'll get out of my reading slump soon, but if not, then hopefully I'll be creating some fun things like this tote bag. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!